good morning. It's uh, what is it? Wednesday, 8th of July, and I'm in uh, Beth Gellert. And as of two days ago, the five mile restriction for lockdown in North Wales was lifted. So I'm out for a walk, but I'm staying uh, fairly low today. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one, have a quick look at the view, the sound of water, and by the church. Um, I've got some new boots and I'm uh, breaking them in for the first day. So I've uh, got the old uh, Altbergs on. I don't want to touch any gates with my hands, although I have got, I have got liquid uh, alcohol cleaning fuel uh, gel rather. Uh, let's wash my hands. Uh, weather forecast about 13 degrees at the moment. There's a little bit of tiny fine drizzle in the air and as the day goes on that drizzle will get a bit worse and from about four o'clock it's give uh, heavy rain. So plan is one of my old favorites probably only a, about a three hour walk or so is Aberglaslin Gorge along the Aberglaslin uh, River and up over the top, drop back down to Flindinas and then walk back along the uh, river, come back to that green, over that green bridge there and back into Beth Gellet. So it's been ages since I've been out. That's another reason why I've not gone really high today. Uh, I'm not fit enough. I have been working through lockdown, but I haven't been for many walks at all. I've been for a couple of local ones. But I haven't been out in the mountains since oh, beginning of March, just before lockdown, I think I was out. So I'm really looking forward to this. Everywhere is really, really green. We've had uh, torrential rain all day yesterday. Floods in parts of Gwynedd. Uh, I thought the river might have been higher, but obviously it's gone down overnight. So we'll see what the gorge is like. But I'm really looking forward to this walk and in Wales we've still got another well till next Monday till we can get a haircut <laughs> and the pub's open I think next Monday so at the moment we're still in partial lockdown but uh, we are allowed to travel more than five miles to exercise now uh, as of two days ago so let's we'll see how it goes it's a uh, it's a lovely day <laughs> Oh, I'd have come out even if it was torrential rain today because I've been out for months so I was expecting to be uh, all wet and grey and foggy when I got here it's a bit misty on the tops and it will get worse as the day goes on but up over the top there, clear not cold so no coat at the moment um, I'm just going to enjoy this walk so Really looking forward to this. I got some uh, got some advice on my feet. I got my boots from Wally Warm and Dry in Lancashire, and they do all sorts of measurements whether you sit down, you stand up, or how you walk. And I got very high arches and insteps, so I've got some shock absorber insoles for my boots, and uh, I've got funny movement in my feet when I walk apparently. So try different ways with the laces to try and get the boots right uh, break them in. So let's go, up a Glasling Gorge, up over the top to the Slindinas and back into Beth Gellert. Try not to touch any gates. <laughs> See the clouds up on the tops there. Swift. Not sure when the steam train is going to be running. Probably the last couple of weeks, I would have thought. Across the railway. Just listen to that lovely sound of running water. Well, it's a bit damp, but. It's warm. 
14 degrees now. Very humid and warm, so hopefully it doesn't pour down. I don't really want to have to put a coat on. Beautiful. Make our way uh, along the edge. Look at this. The top of mine is not far from here. Up that mountain, so a bit of a copper turn to water. Brown colour, looks like rust, but it's copper. That. Just a little seat where it's coming out of the mountains there. Uh. Hand grips there, but I don't want to touch him at the moment. <laughs> Someone with COVID 19 might have been passed before me. Yeah, I like tail. Great white tail, great white tail. Yeah. We've been doing some pebble building. It's not massively high after all the rain, but it's uh, quite impressive. Midges about. So be really careful if you're coming down here. I've seen people bring in little kids, and that's fine as long as you watch them. But one trip or slip could be fatal. Oh, for anyone, not just kids. Pull bang your head in a rock and fall in the water. Not something you want to be doing. Are you on this way? Yeah. Higher up now. Beautiful. What a pleasure to be out after not being able to go walking. For anyone that's watching, I'll stay safe and the families. It's been uh, pretty woody in a few months, hasn't it? With ancient woodland now. Let's look at the river. Well, until later anyway. The path goes down to the road there, but we go up this way. Do a nice uh, nice circular. I think it's only about three or four miles, maybe maybe four and a half, something like that possibly. But it's a, it's a lovely walk. Goodbye to that running water sound. It's a bit overgrown, a bit wary of uh, ticks, there's a lot of them about this year. Check when I get to the other side before, I, before they start buttering in. Ah, oh, soaking wet as well. <laughs> get out of the way. Oh, I'm all wet now. meat. Nice down to Kumbukan. 
and then through the arch. Oh. Oh, I give myself a brush down after coming through that just in case. Anything on me? Come book in, train station, car park. I go through the arch. And it's a combo can. Oh, it's wet, very humid. Echo! A little bit. Right, uphill from here. Oh, I can tell I'm out of shape. Yeah, I used to walk mountain walking again. Rain's held off so far. Uh, feels like the sun's trying to make a breakthrough. Won't be long though, rain coming in later. All a bit overgrown. Look at the, uh, look at the old moss and everything. For the summer? Well, it is the summer, but hot weather. And the path disappeared. <sighs> Overgrown now. <laughs> Get through there somehow. Oh, sure they're going to get ticked or something today. Uh, get out of the way. I <sighs> can have a bug check down before they go on. A bit of a view now, opening up there out to sea. Clouds about, but bright at the moment. I'm very, very humid. Ah, oh, sweating. Two reasons for the hat today. One, it's a waterproof one, and it gives a uh, drizzle all day. I thought if it was really light, I could leave my coat off and just keep my head dry. And two, I haven't had a haircut for months, I look like the mad professor. So, <laughs> it's really long, you see at the sides, right out. Can't wait to get a haircut Monday. <sighs> Carry on up this way. There's a lovely spot up here for lunch. Oh, this is lovely. Only a little mountain, but lovely to be back out. And just up by that wall up there is a bench that I plan to sit and have my lunch and enjoy the view. Lunchtime. And what a spot. Look at that. Oop, we've got a note on the bench. What is this? Oh, in loving memory. I don't know. 
I thought I'd go and say don't sit on the bench during COVID-19. A little tinkle of water while I've had my dinner. And that view. There we go. Lunch all done. No litter, no trace. Try to move on. We go alongside the old mine workings now. Uh, copper mine, copper mine workings. You see all the headgear and that as we go further up. Not very steep, but uh, tell how unfit I am. <laughs> Out of breath. But the rain's held off, which is a surprise. <laughs> And uh, I'm glad because I couldn't be doing putting a coat on now. It's so humid. Up a patchy pass now. Well, that's what I call it. Ooh, fell down a rabbit burrow. And uh, a nice view at the other side when you get to the top there. But that's a view back the way I've come. Come to the top of the pass now. Whew. Bit of a breeze getting up now, a bit cooler, thankfully. This is probably the wind that's going to blow the rain in. Let's have a look from here. See the peaks. Not a bad view, a bit better when you get over there. Oh, back over that way. To get down to Flindinus, when you come over that stile, just bear to the left and uh, follow it to the sort of a crossroads there, and then you can turn right and go down. You just see Flindinus just in the distance down there. Right, when you get to this side, take the Slindinus right sign. You can get back to Beth Gallet, it says that way, but it is a horrible climb down. So, uh, not recommended. Just spotted a load of um, cotton grass. How oh, lovely plant these are. First time I saw this a couple of years ago, I thought it's late for snowdrops. Where, what, what are they? Look at that. <laughs> Looks like a sheep's walked past and uh, left a load of wool on it. Cotton grass. Anyway, we'll go back down that way. Nice colours about in the heather. I haven't seen another person since I left Beth Gallup. There was a lady with a couple of kids walked past me when I was getting my boots on by the car and a lady with a dog walking down in the distance towards um, Gallet's grave just outside Beth Gallet. But since I started along the river I haven't seen another soul. Uh, there's another reason I came to do this one. I thought, you know, go to the Ogwin Valley or something there would be loads of people about. I thought I'd leave the initial rush go down but the roads were really quiet once you left um, sort of the main road all the way to Beth Gallet from Best of Code was quiet and no people about this is absolutely fantastic the weather is better than it said it's brighter than it said it would be my feet are not killing me so uh, the boots are okay and uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be out surrounded by mountains that. Ah, view. Yeah, the clouds are staying high. I think the heavy rain is due about four o'clock and it's what time is it now? Quarter to one. So hopefully I'll get the whole walk done before any rain comes. If it's uh, if it's just light drizzle, I'm just gonna get wet. It's too hot for the coat. 
and then just change at the van. Be uh, better than sweating to death. Keep going down that way. And that was a fairly uh, level, comfortable walk there. And then you come to the top of the steps down to Slindinus. And uh, I came down here one last winter or the winter before and uh, the steps a bit lower down is just or all of this just covered in ice but uh, there's Flindinus down the bottom City Lake This is um, quite steep this as I say in the, in the winter when it's all ice you have to come down the grass because the steps are just too dangerous. It's quite steep, but when you're looking at that view on the way down, that doesn't matter, does it? Look at that. Quite still today. You can see the clouds getting a bit darker up there. So, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. And have 10 minutes before the rain comes in and uh, admire that beautiful view of Slendinas and the mountains. Awesome. Stunning view that, isn't it? Just enjoy me a uh, cup of tea. Been just over four miles so far. So the walk's going to be about five, five and a half mile, a bit further than I thought. But um, it's a cracking walk and uh, well worth doing. It's a bit steep coming down that bit, but nothing, uh, nothing too drastic. And this bench is perfectly positioned. Uh, and I have seen someone now. There's a lady down there with some dogs and there's two guys just walked up past me. Uh, but other than that, I've not seen a soul all day. It's lovely. Yeah. Oh, I enjoyed that copper and that view. Oh, out by the lake. Peaceful. Tranquil, awesome, lots of words for this. That's uh, just come down. Oh. I just sit another couple of minutes, even though I've just had 10 minutes, I'll have another couple. I'm not in any hurry to get away from that view. If I'd known the weather was going to be dry I'd have probably been up a mountain, proper mountain today but I can't argue with this walk it's gorgeous. Well, I have five minutes to take that in and then make my way back that way. I can never I can never just walk straight down the trail and not walk on this bridge. Lovely, isn't it? That's easy. Oh well, carry on. Like a fairy tale house, that. I always look and admire that on my way past. What a location. Mountain behind you, river in front. Right are behind me. The clouds coming in a bit over there. A bit fresher now, not as humid, so it's uh, nice to walk in. A little bit of a breeze. That's uh, only about probably about a mile, if that now. Back to Beth Gallet. 
I thought it'd be nice to kayak down that part of the river. I think some of the attractions can open next Monday, depending on social distancing, etc. I don't know how places like this will go on. Been a real killer for the uh, uh, tourist trade in Wales. Loads of places around here, well, most places around here rely on tourists. Even a lot of the farms do B&B and uh, have caravans in the field and things like that to make some money. Uh, hopefully these businesses will survive and people will come back. It's a gin copper mine. And up there you can see the path that comes down, it's a nightmare path that. Much better come in this way. See the clouds coming down the mountain there. <laughs> I think it's going to be wet by the time I get back. Another, another bridge. But I'm not going on the road. Just come down that way and go through to the kissing gate. Back this way. I always admire their back gardens as well. <laughs> Table and chairs right there, right over the river. Sit out in the evening. Fabulous. Right, it's overgrown here. And we're back where we started. Oops, back over the Green Bridge. And um, it's pretty much six mile. <laughs> it's a lot shorter than that, I remembered it, but it doesn't feel like a long walk. Easy enough. But it's about six mile if you're doing it. That's, uh, that's where I went up on that side before. Uh, you can, when you get to the old railway bridge and the plank bridge, just come back down this side for a short circular walk. You don't fancy going up the mountain. Lovely. So, uh, lovely walk. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you on the next one. P.S. Ice cream time. Normally I'd be in there having a pint, but this year it looks like they're doing some filming for something here. I'll film him, filming me, filming him, filming that. See you on the next one. Chocolate and ginger ice cream for the record.